Hey, so if you've seen any of my previous videos, you know that a lot of um, playing around with uh, making graphics like this uh, has to do about remapping numbers, right? So uh, we made some stuff before to remap numbers into a 0, 1 range or remap numbers from like range A, B to range C, D um, and a few other things. We also used um, this function a lot, which is the mix function, which, if you remember, it mixes two numbers together, so uh, based on a third number. So if my, if my smile uh, variable is 0, then it will return 0. If my smile variable is 1, it will return 0.1. If my smile variable is anywhere in between 0 and 1, it will return uh, in between these two numbers. Um, and in this case, if it's anywhere outside, it will return um, like outside this range. So we have a convenient function for this. Uh, that's why I haven't explained it before. But let's go through this because um, it's, good, it's good to know how to do linear interpolation and uh, you can build other things on top of it. So, so let's just really quickly explain that. So basically what the mix function does is it takes uh, uh, three numbers as an input, right? Like a number A, let's call it uh, our A is 1, number B, let's call it our B is 2, and uh, like a third number, which um, in this case is going to be our X uh, that we're going to put in. So we're going to make a function that returns when X, equal, when X is 0, it will return A, when X is 1, it will return B. Um, and anywhere in between, it will return something in between. So let me just write this function out and then I'll explain it to you. It's, it's quite simple. Um, so we have 1 minus x times a plus x times b, not hb, b. All right, so let's examine this function here. So when x is 0, my function returns 1. And when x is 1, my function returns 2, which is exactly uh, what we want here. And let's, let, let's play around with it a little bit and see. So if I set my x or my a to 0, then at 0, uh, my output is 0. Uh, and I can, let's say, 1.4. This is 1.4, but at b, it still stays 2, right? So the, the other point always kind of stays fixed. Um, so yeah, so that seems to work. So now let's see why that why that is the case. So let me just go to some easier numbers. So I'll just again I'll go to one and two. So when um, when x is zero, then this first term here it becomes one minus zero, which is one. Okay, so I get one times a. And my second term here becomes uh, 0 times b. So I get 1 times a plus 0 times b. Well, that is exactly um, a, right? 1 times a plus 0 times b is a. Uh, the opposite happens when x equals 1, because then I get 1 minus 1, which is 0. So I get 0 times a plus uh, 1 times b. And, and in between, I get I get half I get a half contribution from a and from b. So basically, this term here, the one minus x, is the inverse of this on on the interval of zero to one. So so uh, you know x plus one minus x um, always equals uh, always equals one, right? So. So if x is 0 0.5, then 1 minus x is 0 0.5. But if x is 0 0.2, then um, the 1 minus x is the inverse of that, which is 0 0.8. So these, these two terms added up together all like always to 1, which is what we want. Um, all right, so that's linear interpolation. And the mix function uh, does exactly that. But it, uh, it can do that on numbers, on individual numbers, but it can also do that on on vectors and uh, yeah, so vectors and colors and stuff like that. And then what it does is it, it just it just does it like for a color it would just do it four times.
Okay, so for the R, G, B, and A channel. Okay, so now one other thing that we used a lot uh, that we can uh, we can build with linear interpolation is this the smooth step here. Uh, well, we use the macro to make it uh, to make it faster, but basically the original thing is smooth step, right? Um, so I don't have my little pen with me, so I can't draw it anymore. But if you remember, a smooth step is a function that starts slow and then it it accelerates, and then before it hits one, it decelerates again. So de so here accelerate, accelerate, and here decelerate. So let's make that. So if I just hide this for a second. So basically we want a function that accelerates in the beginning. Well, a parabola accelerates in the beginning, so that's great. We want it exactly, because we want it to start at zero velocity over here. So we want it to be flat, exactly like the parabola. But now the, parab the, the parabola just accelerates all the way, and it accelerates uh, through one, right? But what we want is we want something that accelerates and then it decelerates over here. So um, we can also use a parabola for that. So let's make a parabola for that as well. So let's do, we start with x squared, uh, x squared. And then uh, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to flip it around. And now I'm going to move it up. And you move the thing up by just adding a number. Um, so I'll just add 1. And now I have to move it to the right, right? And moving it to the right, you, you, you do that by taking the x by itself and subtracting a number from it to remap it. So now, so now basically when x equal, equals one, then x minus one is equals zero, and then so 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 that's how I move my whole parabola left, left and right. Um, so now let's name these. So my my first uh, one is the is the blue. Um, can I do that here? Let's make a different color here. So then let's make it red. Okay, so we want the, our, our smooth step is, is, a, is a function that starts slow like the red like the red parabola and it ends slow like the green parabola. So if I rename these and I call this R for red and I call this green, a G for green. Um, so well, if we want something that starts one way and it ends another way, we, we can use this, this exact same formula for that, right? The linear interpolation. So let's do that. So let me write this out, and then, but instead of A, I'm using R, instead of uh, B, I'm using G. So I'm gonna do one minus X times R plus X times, and then this whole G uh, value here, so g, okay? So you can see that this makes a smooth function. So if I turn off all the other ones, you can see that on the interval that we're interested in, which is only from zero to one, so outside of zero to one, we're, 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 we're just gonna uh, past one, it's just gonna stay one, and pa past zero, it's just gonna stay zero. So don't look at the outside, but just the zero, one interval, interval this is exactly what we want. So that's great. So now let's just uh, simplify this a little bit. So um, first, let me let me just write it out completely. So uh, so we have one minus x times, and then I'm just going to write out r. So r is x squared plus x times, and then this whole thing. Um, so that's one minus x minus 1 squared. All right, and it overlaps my previous uh, orange orange line, so that's why I know that it is correct. Um, so now we can uh, simplify this. Okay, so the first thing, I'm just going to write this out. So instead of x, uh, x minus 1 squared, I'm just going to write the whole thing. So x minus 1 times x minus 1. And it still stays the same, so that's good. Now I can I can simplify this, so x times x becomes x squared, and then uh, minus x, and then um, plus 1, and then another, another minus x, right? So I get x squared minus, uh, minus 2x plus 1. So I'm just going to do 
x squared minus 2x plus 1. Okay, and now I can <clears throat> I can peel this one off because like uh, uh, here it's one minus one, so I I can get rid of this one, and and then all these terms in like go inverted, right? Because there's a minus here, so I can make this um, minus x squared plus two x, and then the plus one disappears okay uh, and now the next thing I can do is well let's start over here let's simplify this so uh, 1 times x squared is x squared minus x times x squared is minus x cubed so this becomes x squared minus x cubed this whole thing so x squared minus x cubed and now uh, let's write this out so um, x times minus x squared is minus x cubed and then uh, plus 2x squared, right? So I, um, x times 2x is 2x squared. So um, minus x cubed plus 2x squared. Minus x, well, here. Uh, minus x cubed plus 2x squared and now I have uh, an x squared here and 2x squared over here so I can just add that so instead of this I make that 3x squared so this is 3x squared and then I have minus x cubed minus x cubed is just minus 2x cubed All right, and now I like to put this on the end because that's a minus. So, so we get three uh, x squared minus minus two x cubed, and this is the smooth step function. This is what goes on on the inside of the smooth step function, um, but it also it also handles the clamp. So so it. it it knows that okay if my x is larger than one then just return one and if my x is smaller than zero then just return zero but other than that this is basically what this is and i believe this is called a hermite interpolation so you can look that up if you if you want to know more about it so um so yeah i hope that helps someone Ta -da.